Boom. Welcome back to the Poor Choice Show, episode 10. Me, your host, Chris, my co-host, David. Happy 10th anniversary, everyone. Hey, let's make some poor choices all. Alright, well, beer of the week, sir. Um, I actually don't have a lot of head, but you always go first, so go ahead. You don't want to switch it up? Alright, we'll switch it up. I'll go. Alright, let's do it. Um, I have a Passion of the Heights. I don't know if that's playing off of Passion of the Christ. Uh, Tropical Wheat Ale from Florida Avenue Brewing Company. A little visual for anyone watching. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Ding, dang. Walla, walla, bing, bang. Let's see what we get. Let's see if it's tropical. Looks tropical. Oh, that's great. Great? Yeah, that's really good. It's it's a lighter ale. Okay. Um, which that's thumbs up for me because I'm not into the heavy stuff. Um, out of ten, I would say I would give it a solid eight. Eight. Solid eight. Okay. Very tasty. So that's another one that's right up the street. So next time, well, God dang it, we're gonna have to. I mean, one's up the street one way, one's up down the street. I guess. So we're just gonna have to brewery hop. I guess if we have to, I'll do it. It's fine. All right. Well, so we got an eight, eight out of 10? Yeah. Solid eight. Solid eight. Yeah. All right. Well, I have, what do I have? I have a simulated reality fruited sour ale from Smoldered Society Beer Company. It is a, uh, obviously a sour, brewed with strawberry, orange, orange peel, and Tahitian vanilla. Mm. It sounds really good. That looks really cool, too. It does. Look at that guy. He don't want to be here. I think you're already I want to be here, though. Good. Hour. Let's see. Looks thick. We got thicky. Super good. Really good. <clears throat> we go eight and a half. That was quick. Wow. Yeah. I think uh, the vanilla comes in as like a little aftertaste. Mm-hmm. It's the perfect cat. And that was by who? Who brewed that? Something Society? Smoldered Society Beer Company. Let me see where they're at. It sounds where good. Where y'all at? I just had my second sip, and I'm very pleased. Good. Buffalo, New York. Oh, speaking of, did you see Josh Allen just signed like a $150 million contract? Oh, to not make the playoffs? Okay. They said, hey, we know we uh, got rid of the only guy you throw to, but want to come back? Yeah, they need, uh, in the words of me, they need a lot of help. Need a lot of help. They need a lot of help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, The other big news in the baseball world, uh, Baltimore just brought up the number one prospect in baseball, Jackson Holiday, as of today. I, I saw that. And in doing so, also get an additional first round pick due to the prospect incentive program that they have, um, that the MLB has. Yeah, it's like if you have a prospect, top prospect that's brought up at whatever time frame, and I, I don't know the details, um, but now they get an additional first round pick. The best farm team in baseball gets another first round pick, which is awesome. So I'm excited to see if and possibly he plays tonight against Boston, but uh, I'm excited. That dude is legit he's a real deal a real but deal what what prompts that so early into the season um he started with norfolk which is their triple a team um at the beginning of the season he's only played 10 games and he's batting high 300 two home runs i think he had 10 doubles um 12 rbis in a 10 game span and so he's just crushing it and they said okay well one you're doing really well so you deserve to be here and two bringing you here now gives us another first round pick in next year's draft which is just huge so it's more how he's doing not how who they have currently is doing like it's not like someone's performing so poorly that they're like hey it's time to bring this guy up exactly yeah um they're gonna get to the point where it's gonna be well who's doing dh today because we have six dudes that we want to start you know um good problem to have good problem to have um yeah, so I'm excited about that. That's that was awesome news to see today because I was I was waiting for that for that announcement and that it happened so early in the season looks really cool. Just wondering yeah. how long it was going to take. Yeah, mm-hmm. cool, mm-hmm. cool, cool, cool. So for our tenth episode, we thought we would dedicate at least a little bit of it to podcasting in general. Even though our numbers up to this point are far from being worth bragging about. We've attracted, at least in my eyes, a larger audience than was ever expected. Uh, yeah, for those agreed. Who, 
Yeah, and for those who have listened from the start, uh, you know the goal of us doing this was never to blow up to be the next big thing, but rather just as a way for us to keep in touch and essentially hang out now that we live on opposite sides of the state. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely been a learning experience, and to be honest, we're still still working through some hiccups every now and then. Yeah, but it's pretty funny how like the first couple episodes problems. Yeah, you would you would think we were pros, and then this episode the next, you ten episodes like, in. It seems like how do we fucking hit the record button? Well, at this pace, at least from what we're trying to shoot for and be hopeful for, is we're recording episode ten, um, just under a hundred YouTube subscribers. So if we at least keep pace or maybe even do a little better, um, maybe by episode one hundred this time next year, meh, maybe a little laughter this time next year. Um you got a, you got a math. Yeah, a little a little more. <laughs> um We'll hit a thousand, which would be crazy. But like looking, you would say, and at a, a while the fact for that, that there's yeah. 83 people that said I want to get on their YouTube daily alone. dose, right on YouTube alone. Yeah, w- is um it it really puts into perspective. Um, I'm a big like YouTube person, watching, following, listening. Um, it really puts into perspective these bigger channels of how big they really are and the followings. It's right. It it really put it into. I'm happy to have 80 and I'm watching five right. people with millions, which is, um, you see it, but before you actually put yourself out there and on social, you don't really think about it. It's just a number that you're like, oh, that's a big channel. They're great. I love them. But it really, it really shines a light on it for sure. It does. And just the fact that we went into it, not looking, well, I guess I don't want to say not looking to make anything of it, but you know, we could have our parents as the only subscribers at this point and we'd be well and good you know this is this is the the moment a week for me and you to hang out and bullshit a thousand percent and drink some beer and you know do what we used to do once a week when we lived 20 miles apart but right. just the fact that it's even got up to that many is at least to me it's like the fact that there's more than three people in the world that give a shit what we have to say <laughs> is or are entertained so, by what we say you know yeah right so uh I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm proud of us, and I want to thank anyone that's ever watched, listened, shared, commented, or even liked anything we've posted, and that you guys make what could honestly be a phone call between Chris and I once a week feel all that much more worthwhile. We could just be FaceTiming right now, and it would be the right. same conversation. Yeah. Exactly. Thousand percent. I mean, we went from, uh, you know, zero any any kind of social media or influence you know it's it was basically a start from scratch project which it still is um we're still in the infant stage of it um but it it definitely took even as such a small channel the planning and the investment and and just everything that goes into it like i was saying earlier it really shines a light on like what people do when they do this for a living is it's very uh, eye-opening it is granted that's I feel like a lot of those guys, if not all of them, go into it with that mindset. Like, you know, this this is something that I want to be something that blows up. Whereas this is how you and I just, we're bullshitting. If it turns into something, great. But it's not like, we're not looking to quit our jobs. We're not looking to become millionaires as YouTubers. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, regardless, even even if that is what you're going for, that's still pretty miraculous to you know, amount to millions of followers and you know, everything yeah, I those mean, guys do. We, we put out shorts and and a lot a lot of shorts on a lot of platforms and uh i see some of the numbers and i'm like there's really like thinking about it in my head and, and just like imagining them in like like a like a stadium or or outside of a venue or at a con right like eight thousand people who viewed this that tuned in that lasted Pretty cool yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it, it kind of makes it that much better where we like you were saying we weren't trying to and we're right. still not. We're not trying to. Yeah, still not threaten trying. anything on anybody. Uh, but at the same time, when you see certain certain things do well, you go, "That's that's Maybe really they cool." Do care that about you, that, yeah, yeah, a little fuzzy in, inside. Yeah, 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 like that. And even just the the little thing. I don't. You know, not there wasn't a lot of comments or likes or anything that came about it. But that that whole Harry Potter plot hole thing, where that guy literally, you know, reshared our video just to basically call us dumbasses, and then I referred him to the entire video to give us his thoughts on that. Right. And he made right. like a whole 15 minute YouTube video on why we're fucking retarded because we don't know shit about Harry Potter apparently. <laughs> and it's just well, like to see someone take that much time out of their day to do that for something that we're just sitting here bullshitting about is 
And I think that that was that was the point of it was like, yeah, like you said, we're just bullshitting on it. And then we right. we, we struck a nerve of somebody who's a lot more passionate about it, which is hard to say because we're, I would say, pretty big potterheads. Um, right. When we, when we hit somebody who was, uh, uh, you know, that's you know, clearly a huge offended. influence right. in their life. Um, it was really cool to see. Yeah. 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 That was that was interesting. So I mean, we, we'll have to get that guy on just to see if we can strike some other nerves. And that's the other part is we're open to anybody who, you know, we're, we're not here just for me and David to talk. If you have any kind of entertaining anything, anything, anything on, if you related to what we talked us. about, right. I mean, just, and that's exactly the name of the game. It's just come on and bullshit with us. And we're not here to, to, to put down anyone or be negative on any topic. We just want to hear all sides and just kind of right. get it out there and it, for it to be entertaining hopefully exactly hopefully entertaining the only prerequisite is you have to drink a beer yeah maybe a microphone and a camera would help too well but... i mean a phone takes care of that but if you have yeah. that and you don't have a beer you're not welcome here well, yeah i mean if you didn't make it past the first 30 seconds of every episode and realize that you need to be drinking kind of a beer on the podcast about, right? then hey listen. bonus points if you got a sour yeah you know what you, you will probably pay for you to now i'm just gonna stop talking <laughs> yeah, we don't. <laughs> YouTube doesn't monetize 83 followers, just so you know. <laughs> but I think we've done a good job as far as it goes to, um, you know, creating our own brand and, and yeah. just having the proper equipment to get it out to you guys. And, and I mean, I, I, I need to vine feed grapes and, 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 and hit David with, you know, because he's the editing guru, master, chief, I just, we executive. Need to have- we need to have just like a live stream podcast where I tell you the app and the software and you try to edit a video. I would probably and it's just live all of it, literally just like a screen share of your phone and we get to like see everything you press and everything you do. That'd be pretty funny, but at, I think it would also just like switch to me, like my brain getting bored and like you'd see me just checking, <laughs> checking my emails and, and go into a different right. website. We're like, oh, oh, we're going still to watch doing? a YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. That has no that. followers. That's yeah. Weird. Yeah. Um, oh, fuck. You know, I think, and we're going to continue to be is, is for us is um, our consistency and putting these out once a week. And as much as this man who's about to have a child and just got married um, can edit shorts as quickly as possible, which he's been pumping them out like crazy. Um, they've been they've been my new uh, my new bathroom hobby. Going so to take a shit. Off, it, went, it you, went from golf class to, to, to fucking so editing shorts and shit. Anytime I would hang out with David, and even now when I go to visit him um, over in the Tampa area, and it's like, hey, I'm, I'm going to use the bathroom. Him and his wife, her and I would look at each other and be like, yeah, we'll see him in like 40 we'll minutes. We'll see him about a week. <laughs> yeah. Because it's about six, seven, eight minutes of shitting and get ready, and then it's 15, 20 minutes of golf clash or CSR yep. or, or, <laughs> meme or something. Or, yeah. or uh, now it's editing shorts. Yeah. Um, I could I think them all life. The only thing that we've maybe just need a little bit more, which we've talked about a little bit, um, is our promotion and just just getting um, every avenue covered as far as who can see us, get a hold of us, um, how we can reach them. Um, I was divulging into David just yesterday. I think it was. It was just kind of who's watching us what's their age range which country are they from are they males females um but for the most part i think so far our demographic has been pretty spot on and yeah and pretty much what we're going for pretty consistent yeah. pretty much what we're going for um but that's i mean if there's anybody outside that target demographic that wants to come on and talk about some shit by all means and what did you say our um i think it was like three percent was canada and then what was the uk uh I want to say when I looked, whenever you would ask, it was like eleven percent or something like that. Okay. Um, I know there was a there was a handful in Australia, uh, a couple in like Belgium, few here and there. Well, I'd love to cater to our UK folks and see if you can um, define or give me your best answer to some UK slang. How's that sound? Sounds awful. It sounds awful. I think just from Harry Potter alone, you'll get quite a few of these i guess it depends on am i you're like you're gonna say a word and i gotta say what the equivalent yeah. would be in english um or just kind of what they're going for use it in a sentence, or or use it or... a sentence exactly mm, how's that okay. sound sounds great sounds I'll try my best so excited. sounds good to you sounds good to me well first one you're gonna be you got it what's a bloke that's a just a dude 
It's a dude. It's, it's just, just a guy. guy. Just it's your a buddy. Hobby. It's a dude. I guess you don't even have to like him, though. Like this fucking bloke. How about something that's daft? What's daft? D A F T. Or dumb. Yeah, exactly. It's dumb. Stupid. That's daft. Okay, how about dodgy? Dodgy. That was dodgy. Like, uncomfortable? Mm, you're in the right ballpark. Um, um, Leave me there. It, uh, like, something like you shouldn't have done. Like, that was... Regrettable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, like, sketchy. Like, like, uh, like a questionable decision. Like, you shouldn't have done that. Okay. That was dodgy. Um, how about... I'm knackered. Knackered? Knackered. I'm knackered. I'm gonna go with tired. Boom. Got it. Um, how about chuffed? Chuffed? If someone's chuffed, they're they're full. They're stuffed. Dang. They're they're no longer hungry. No, you're you're not there yet. Um, it's more of a positive. You don't think stuffed I, is a positive? That means you just you just ate some. I was chuffed. Like the Cowboys won. Ecstatic. Yeah, pleased. Yeah, you were. Okay. Yeah. Um. I think I've actually asked you this before, but what about someone said, can you give me a fiver or, or a tenner? Like a five dollar bill? As, yeah. Can you give me five pounds, ten pounds? Yeah. Five okay. Or well, tenner, yeah, whatever. Pounds. Whatever. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so here's funny. Uh, kerfuffle. I've heard this word. Right. I think I've always just kind of took it. Not really. Never, never really took it as like, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you had to, a best guess of. I think it would be like a, like a clusterfuck. I mean. You're you're there. It's like like a, like a traffic jam or like an accident would be like. A, what I've got is it's a disagreement or like a ruckus, like a kerfuffle. Okay, so it could be. Okay, so how about clusterfuck is a kerfuffle, but a kerfuffle is not a clusterfuck. Kerfuffle, not fluffle. Fuffle, whatever. <laughs> yes, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. One's the other, but the other is not the one. How about uh in it? Uh, I n n i t. Isn't it like? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you already said it. It's like, isn't it? Like in it. Yeah. 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 Like in it. Um how about faffing around? Faffing. Like horsing around? Mm. Or not faffing around. Um what I got here is it's too much time. So they're faffing around. Like they're they're like dicking you know, around. Procrastinating. Right, right, right. Okay. They're faffing around. Well, you got other shit you could be doing, but you're dicking around. This one you'll get. How about the loo? That's the that's the banyo. That's the bathroom. How about myth? Is that is that slang? Um, I don't know. It's on my list. Okay. Myth. So would that, because if it is slang, would that be like the shitter for us? Like I got to use the shitter. Um. Because bathroom's not slang. Yeah. I say the head a lot. I'm going to use the head. The head. That's, I don't, wouldn't say that's slang either. That's just like different jargon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's the other one? Uh, miffed. Miffed. M-I-F-F-E-D. Miffed. Like I'm miffed. You're miffed. So it's describing your still. So miffed. Like beat. Exhausted. Damn, Tucker missed that field goal. Uh, Disappointed. Up yeah, the I mean, yeah, annoyed or unhappy. His stuff. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, how about a quid? Uh, it's like money, right? Yeah, it's like they're like- uh, Like a buck. Uh, like a buck. Right, all right. Give okay. me five bucks. Let me get five quid. Yeah, yeah. Um, how about trainers? Their shoes. Sneakers, yeah. Um, how about cheeky? Like peachy, happy. I got rude lightheartedly. That's the opposite. Okay. You're right. <laughs> Um, and how about, nah, we'll end on an easy one. Cheers. Cheers. But when a, when someone from the UK would say, or Br- Britain would say, cheers. Wouldn't they just do that? Like, yeah, hey, but, uh, what's up? At the end. How are you? Cheers. Nope. Oh, that's all, folks? Well, like, like a thank you. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I'll do it again. Bam. Well, I think you did pretty good. That was I did better than I thought I would. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of really out there ones i wanted to go more towards like kind of ma- mainstream slang but um yeah yeah so one one that i hear sort of often that i'm still kind of i guess deciphering what it means is uh when they say like i'm charging it They're like i'm charging it never heard that yeah i don't know if it's a i'll have to look that one up I'm trying to think like in context like like if your ex hit you up you'd be like i'm charging it i'm charging mm-hmm. it i don't know if it but- means like fuck that or like i'm going for it i don't I'm still trying to decipher. I can find out for you. While I do, like a, um, can you tell me like what a, jam, a jammy dodger one. is? A jammy dodger. It's mm-hmm. like a little kid that runs around the house and doesn't let his mom put his pajamas on him. No. Like a um, jammy dodger. Um, so charge it is UK slang for firm it, or it's not that deep. For example, charge your phone or charge watch. So it's like, it doesn't bother you. Right, not that big of a deal. So like if a teacher gives you detention, you're like, I'm charging. Yeah, I'm charging it. So Jamie Dodger is going to be, um, 
It's a biscuit or a cookie here in the States made from shortcake with raspberry or strawberry flavored jam filling. Jammy Dodger. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. We're, we're trying to attract people from the UK, not call them dumbest shit I've ever heard. Well, bring them on and let's let's talk about it. Because I, I thought a biscuit was like its own uh, slang. No, so a biscuit here would be a cookie. Right. And a what do they call cookies? A biscuit. We call biscuits cookies. They call cookies biscuits. What do they call biscuits? Scones. What do they call scones? Ned. Nope. Oh. So when you no. say like biscuits and gravy. Yeah. Right? Scones and gravy. It, yeah, but they don't have gravy what we have either. in a traditional like biscuit. That's not a thing. It's not a thing. A scone would be their version of it. Um, but scones can be a dessert, they can be a savory. Um, yeah, and a biscuit's a cookie. Jammy Dodger. Now I do have a friend, he's not from the UK, uh, but he's from Iceland. Maybe we get old old Mr. Icelandic at, over here. Um that would be a good one actually. We might have to do that. Just okay. to get some some uh culture. Yeah. 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 Some yeah. culture. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he's I was talking to him yesterday and yeah, things are good. Uh, you know, we've had volcanoes erupting for the past forty five years. You know, the price, yeah. the price you pay to live in sounds a like, beautiful, sounds like beautiful be country. Worse. Yeah. Um, a country right. that is population wise smaller than Anne Arundel County, if that puts any perspective on it. For me, it does. For the listeners, it probably doesn't. Um, so under five hundred thousand people. A lot of. So, people, I think. I think a better way to equate that would be less people than what the state of Wyoming. No, nah, I'm going to say Wyoming's in the six hundred. Why don't you go ahead and Google that? Because I'm pretty Got sure. It. Last time you looked, you told me like 488 or something like that. 581,000. Close enough. Not a lot of people. Not um, a lot of people. But almost all of them speak English. Um, I the went to college with him. Don't He's speak one English. One of the funniest speak. dudes. They speak Icelandic. Fuck is that? It's their language, dude. What can you, can you say one that? Icelandic word? I've never even heard of that as a language. I'm going to do, how do you say hello in Icelandic? Right. Hello. Oh, that's hello. Yeah. With a, with a, um, how about a how are you in Icelandic? Ooh, yeah, couldn't do that. I'm going to play it on my... Say it again? Tell me, tell me if you can hear this. Can't hear it well enough. You, uh, you want to spell it's, it? Um, it's very Celtic. Like, it's very... So, how are you? First word is H-V-E-R-N-I-G. Well, it's already wrong because V doesn't go after H. And then it's H E F U R. O with a double X above it, and then a U. And then the last word is a P. The P has an extended bar above, like you'd have P, but then there's an extended bar above where the so circle like, and the P it's is. It's also a B. Right. A and then O with that double X above the O. And they do this willingly? Well, it's their native language, dude. They're from Iceland. They speak Icelandic. Instead of taking our letters and putting some like weird shit on it, why don't they just use their own letters? Like, yeah, a perfectly good O, and you're like, we're not going to put one X. We're going to put two X's above this fucking thing. And well, we're gonna I mean, pronounce it completely fucking differently. There's a lot of countries that put accents on different letters. Yeah, but it's the same letter. It's just said differently, I guess. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Which Unless a lot of countries you just are... pronounce that really, Spanish really. Does it? French does it? German does it? So how I mean, would you pronounce that O with? The X is above it. <laughs> uh, got, I got it. Got it sounded like you one fucking O in there. It sounded like it was almost like an A, like an A. Ah. So there's a letter for that. The A. a. Yeah. <laughs> in the English language, not in the Icelandic language. They don't use A's? Yeah. So U is that weird P, B, and then an A, and then the O with the double X is U. So what sound does their A make? Definitely the other side. Like, that sounds like homeboy from South Park. Josh, shibble on Timmer. Well, Rooney, if you're watching, I'm sorry for David's uh, incompetence here. It's not my incompetence. It's my ignorance. Ignorance. That's the word. And and I would love for you to come on and teach me. You would love Rooney. Anything outside of the U.S. You would love Rooney. Also, uh, if you weren't a married man, Iceland. Uh, so mm -hmm. you're not you're not a married man. What are you doing no? here? Are you? <laughs> is that a question? What are you doing here and not living in Iceland? Or visiting Iceland? Well, or setting your, that's your Tinder um, radius to, to Iceland. however far Iceland is? 10,000 mile Tinder radius. Yeah. Um, no, so actually within the next year, I have a UK trip planned, um, which I might just extend it to have a couple days there, because I'll have a place to stay um, and just kind of 
hang out with him and then take a ferry or a small little charter plane over to, to the UK. But so I would say by this time next year, hopefully that's the goal. Hopefully we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll have a across the pond podcast. We'll see. We'll see. Across the pond cast. Mm-hmm. Well How do you done. like me now? <laughs> I would keep singing that, but then we'd probably get copyrighted. Ah, it doesn't matter. We're not making any money anyways. Yeah, not yet. Not with these 83 followers we get. <laughs> so, okay. Good job on your on your uh, slang there. I was, cool, that was well thanks. done. Um, Did you get any of the Eclipse on Monday? Oh, we'll talk about it on the... Oh, we can talk about it now. I had one for uh, five years. So I went outside because it was supposed to peak in our area like a little after three. It is. I was like, all right, cool. I was, I was cooking lunch and I was like, let me set my timer at three o'clock. When I'm probably, let me go outside. And I looked up and I was like, fuck it's just a normal sun it's blind the shit out of me i don't have any glasses on nothing so i pulled out my phone and I'm, i snapped a picture and it was just like normal super bright sun but then below it was like a second sun with the eclipse showing yeah i'll i'll send it to you um maybe that happened the last time put it up and i was like oh so i got it but maybe not the best effect if i had glasses on or right. a proper camera to capture it um and then i saw this like satellite footage from space of they like time lapse the shadow going across the you know the plane that the eclipse was going to cover right and and most of florida was like dark in that and i was like dude it was bright as hell the entire day there was not a single moment like, where it was like oh there's an eclipse happening like if you didn't tell me it was happening i would not have thought really? anything different about that day no it was just sunny so i was working from home and i had a there was maybe like 20 30 minutes or so where i could tell it was like like hazy kind of like no nah, not hazy kind of like overcast but not it was just like dark but there was no clouds well you were a little closer on, on the enough on the west for coast. you to not notice it at all and me to notice dude it. It was just a normal, normal Monday. It was, it was sunny. Um, I'll send you the picture and see what we think. But it was, it was nothing to go. Oh, there's an eclipse happening, and I've seen the videos of like all these places that were in totality, like Dallas and and all these places. And first off, those people were like, it was like they just won the lottery the way they were reacting. Like it was like crazy. Like, dude, it's a it's fucking natural phenomenon. It's not. Happens every what you at all six ish years now. Granted, maybe not where you not live, and you don't yeah, get to no. witness it, so right. I get that part of it. But it was like it was like their team just won the Super Bowl, or, or well, in know. Texas, I'll tell you, they don't it's been a long time since they've seen that happen. So, well, they got some, they got a World Series out of Houston, yeah, and some titles out of San Antonio, you know, yeah, it's about all they got. But hey, it's just a, it's a personal shot. <laughs> I wanted to try to. You you said it, and I was trying to at least like alleviate the uh, maybe if I was a fan of any of those, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, so the stars are doing good. Like, I don't give a fuck about it. Yeah, I mean, we just need to slip some rice in into Jerry Jones's uh, cocktail or water or whatever, and just call it a day. Demon's gonna be equally bad, dude. Who? His son? Oh, his son. Demon. Yeah. I would not say equally bad. No, I would not actually say significantly better, but. I wouldn't put it against the guy to go, oh, I'm going to sell this $2 billion team. No, I don't think he would. No? I feel like the the amount they're worth every year is like exponentially higher that whatever you sell it for. Well, it's like more whatever than a football team. team. It's a brand. It is. And whatever market price is at a given year, it's pretty much guaranteed that it's going to be worth significantly more in five years. Not when you're doing what you're doing, dude. We've been doing that for 20, 30 years. And we, Since 96. We've still, and we've still been the richest franchise in all of sports. Yeah, something and I don't know to go. Where, well, we know what needs to go. It, or who. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I would have said until this past year that the worst ownership on football was in D.C. Um, luckily, they got out of that. Yeah. And now I would say it falls in Dallas. I don't think it's it's us still. It's uh Maybe Carolina. No, I mean, that's bad, but that's a different kind of bad. I still think the Raiders are bad. It's another one of those, like, Mark's not as bad as Al, but he's still pretty bad. Yeah. Um. He, ha- You know, they all come with their own tribulations and just, yeah. they're, you know, they're billionaires. So, you know, they, they're they all going to have their shit. whatevers, but yeah. I would put Dallas in the top two. Yeah. I, 
at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how bad your brand is because you're part of a bigger brand. So as long as you don't like, like Dallas is this kind of bad and the Redskins were this kind of bad. So it was like, you can, you can deter an entire fan base with this. This is just, you're just like, you don't do enough. Yeah. But you're going to keep pulling coming in back hundreds of millions. The of NFL year. brand. Yeah, right, exactly. Right, 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 right. Like Jerry, Jerry's just stupid and makes bad decisions. Well, you've, you've been to that stadium. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Yeah. That's, I, I don't, we could go 0 and 16 they, every year. Like, and if I live there, I'd season tickets. Did they like fly a, don't they fly a blimp around that place? Like, like a little mini blimp, like inside the stadium? I didn't see that. No, maybe, maybe they did that back when they opened up 18 to year. Maybe. But yeah, it's, it's, you know, yeah, know. it's, it's weird because they're America's team. They are America's team, but they don't the always play team. on these like, yeah. So I would call them, cause I'm a big English football fan. I would call them the Manchester United of soccer, football, football, Americano. Cause I would say they're probably the most popular team in the world when it comes to English football. And I would when say you any sport. What do you mean? Will it like they are the richest franchise in all of sports no no, no. I, I just meant along the lines of a world following like a like a fan base is, is i would more, say that they're i mean can you how do you become it's, it's like if you're a yankees yeah so yankees cowboys manchester united lakers okay i could see that yeah if we're yeah. going all sports and then hockey mm, the mighty ducks are probably the most popular okay, like the red wings maybe don't uh, give them or the rangers rate. but yeah maybe yeah they're they're in that realm. They're in that realm. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna ask you a series of random ish questions. They're they're gonna ultimately lead to something, but you won't know until the last question has been answered. How's that sound? It sounds like I have no idea what's coming. Good. But good. Go good, ahead. Good. good. Uh, give <laughs> me a word, any word. I to preface this, I need your mind to be. In its Are we mo- playing like Mad Libs right now? No, but I need your okay. mind to be in its most creative state. That's one way to get there. All right. I need a word that ends in either L-Y or I-O. You can even make um, it up if you want. Maneficently. All right. I need a verb. Came. It's got like to be. Out of a, out out of a penis. Come. I think it's got to be come because it's like present tense. I think a past tense verb is. Just give me something. Um, a current tense. Present tense. You can do come if you want. Skedaddling. Okay. I need a plural noun. Um... Forks. All right. I need a gentrified neighborhood. I'm going to need a definition of gentrified, please. Uh, I think gentrified. Is that like, is that like a bunch of Eric's? Or... No, I think that's, that's gentrified. gentrified. That's yeah. gentrified. I think gentrified is like when you have a really shitty neighborhood and you like fix one thing in hopes that everything else will be fixed. And what was the question? I just need one. Baltimore. Uh, I need an obscure ethnicity. Icelandic. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, wait, let me see what the name of their people are. You ever heard of the Falkland Islands? Uh, nope. But what are they called? The Folks? Falkland Islander. I need a noun. Am I shooting myself in the foot with all these words? I know why you would. You know what? I don't know what's coming. So okay, you need a noun. A noun. Any noun. Be creative. Um, bootstrap. Like bail. I need a verb ending in a t e. A t e. I could just use that. Eight? No. Um, that's a yeah. Four and a Kate. That's a good one. I like it. Uh, I need trivial stuff you like. Um, I would say movie quotes. I like movie quotes. Like it's like a, a trivial thing. Like, hey, okay. what yeah, movie is this works. from? Yeah, yeah. I need a social media platform. MySpace. I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. So I need one of those gur grun things that start with the word crowd. Crowding. Uh. I need a failing industry. Um, failing. Not already failed, but failing. Yeah. I mean, it could be failed, I guess, technically. I'm going to say blockbuster. That's not an industry. That's a um, movie rental. Movie rentals. Hold on, I did a thing. I broke it. Uh, I need a verb. A verb that implies creativity. Let's go with crafted. Okay. I feel like we should do this on the next episode is play a game of like Mad Libs. That's a great idea. I wish I would have thought really of that. really funny. Yeah. 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 Uh, my notes. I need a noun form of a verb ending in A T E. Deliberate. Okay. That'll work. Uh, I need a unmanageable thing. 
Uh, world hunger. That's a good one. I like that. You think we could if we tried? Not you and I, but I think maybe three people could. Yeah. Take a Saudi prince, take a Jeff Bezos, and take someone else that has several billion dollars easily. Yeah. Now, on the counterpart, also, if you live in the middle of the desert, um, in my uh, in the words of my bird, bun boy, uh, George Carl, Carlton, Carlton, um, move. <laughs> Don't live in the middle of the desert. <laughs> that's a that's a. I have a conversation piece on that too, but yeah, we'll get yeah, there. Yeah. We'll get there. Um, but no, I, mean, I think it, it it could happen. But yeah. instead, we're we putting, could manage it. Just, we're putting three rockets into space a day. Yeah. Instead. Yeah. yeah. Um, I need an adjective. Uh, um, fiercely. Um, I think it would be fierce, but that should work. Possibly. We'll see. I could um, do a different one. No, that works. I need a slightly okay. intimidating acronym, or like FBI or something like that. DEA. Perfect. I need a boring daily task. Crushing your teeth. I need a euphemistic grund. Whatever the hell. That is. If you said, give me a euphemistic grund, I would have said, did you mean to say the words you just said? <laughs> <laughs> I would have said, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I would say, like, um, evolving would be one. How about damning? For me. Okay. I need a previous startup with a record-breaking IPO. Like um, Robin Hood or... I'm going to say, like, Scrub Daddy? Yeah. I don't okay. know if they're public, but... Sure. Uh, for, I need a first-world problem. DoorDash is running late. I need a verb involving face-to-face -face interaction with humans. What about, like, belittling? Sketched. Sketched? Like, I, like, I sketched that person. Like a, that was in front like of a, me. Like a caricature? Yeah. Or like a... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like sketched. Uh, data no one needs to keep track of except advertisers. Um, Like how often you bought X? What is X? Mm, shampoo. I need an invasive data mining GPS-based service. <laughs> like iCloud or something like that. This All this better lead up to something really good. Uh, an invasive... GPS data mining service. Correct. I think there's one more. Actually. Google Maps? Yeah, sure. Okay. And I need a serious verb. All right. At least this is getting a little more... Uh, like, wow. Some normal. Just there. Dinger. Dinger. Somebody's watching baseball. Yeah, and he just bowed out. Son of a bitch. All right, so we're going to do a Mad Libs. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not. We're not doing anything related to that. Hey, we should do this in a few... Hey, That'd be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that in a future podcast. So there were so many David. different ways that I wanted David, to David, do David. It. Yeah, and you went the wrong route. Well, the, the questions you asked are ridiculous. So, so this, I was looking for one like this that had the specifics because everything else I saw have it was like noun, verb, adjective, and then my thought was as a like, normal ad Mad Lib is right, right. But I wanted something humorous. So my thought was like I was gonna so say there was like a noun. I was going to have like 10 questions that the answer elicited a noun and have you pick a number and ask you that question. So if it was like a noun, I was going to say like McDonald's menu item. But then I felt like that was leading it so much. And then I came across bit. this one yeah. that was like asking about your had things Like, yeah, failing industry. And IPOs. Daily task. Yeah. And <laughs> I was very like, intrigued. Yeah. Because I could only tell you about three of the answers I gave you. So, so let me make the <laughs> Zoom in a little bit on that. All right, so it's about a startup that you're starting up, I guess. And the name oh, wow. of it is Manetheciently. So far, so good. Angelina Jolie is the CFO. Yeah. And, well, the funny part was that it said for the name of the startup, an incorrect word ending in L-Y or I-O. And I was like, I don't know how to spell Manetheciently. So regardless, it's going to be misspelled. That's the answer. I need a minor celebrity, like a B-list celebrity. Mm, okay. Um... Sean William Scott. All right, so so here's your pitch. Manetheciently, have you ever wanted to skedaddle all sorts of forks with friends, family, colleagues, or even Sean William Scott, but didn't know how? Maybe you were just strolling the sidewalks of Baltimore past your favorite Falkland Island bakery when you wished you could pull out your eye bootstrap and use it to quickly fornicate all your latest movie quotes and post it to your MySpace. <laughs> All this is terrible and great at the same time. <laughs> Manetheciently is the answer. The fact is, we live in a world where crowding will revolutionize movie rentals. <laughs> and pretty soon you'll be able to craft anything you want through the cloud. 
all this deliberation is already changing the way we brush your teeth. Yes. Yeah. It's already changing the way we brush our teeth. But who has the tools to keep up with it? Manethis <laughs> he is that tool. With our beautiful <laughs> user-friendly interface, you'll find that managing all your world hunger is easier than ever <laughs> and fierce. Yeah. Utilizing the power oh, of bad. DEA services and all the connectivity of Scrub Daddy. <laughs> you know about the connectivity, man. Hey, that Scrub Daddy connectivity is legit. That's 5G. We can help you free yourself from the tyranny of DoorDash that is running late. <laughs> the tyranny. The goddamn tyrants. You know what? Next time my DoorDash is late, I'm going to talk to my... Call Manificently. I'm going to say, hey, listen. <laughs> All right. We got to We're going to shut it again. We can- oh, okay. We already said that. In this rapidly damning world of ours, it's hard to find the time to sketch or keep track of how often you bought shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> Manificently changes that. It puts the power of Google Maps at your fingertips. Dinger. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was so against this whole thing. And then when he said his mad lib, I was so mad because I was like, oh, that's what we should do. <laughs> that was hilarious. And it you went so fast that a lot of it went it just went too quick, but god damn that was funny. Yeah, Ooh, that was good. <laughs> Dinger, Dinger. What was the thing you said about um uh hub? Oh uh, God, you said so many things. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you said most of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, about Falcon Island bakeries. Now keep going. Uh, uh, you wish you'd pull out your eye bootstrap and use it to quickly fornicate all your latest movie quotes and post it to your MySpace. Keep going. Uh, the fact is we live in a world where crowding will revolutionize movie rentals and pretty soon you'll be able to craft anything you want through the cloud. All this deliberation is already changing the way we brush our teeth, but who has the tools to keep up with it? Uh, Manificently is that tool with our beautiful user-friendly interface. You'll find that managing all your world hunger is easier than ever and fierce. Utilizing the power of DEA services with all the connectivity of Scrub Daddy. We can help you free yourself from the tyranny of DoorDash that is late. The tyranny of DoorDash. <laughs> That's exact. That was the thought that I started, which was what, like, hey, was everything okay with your order tonight? And then you talk to whoever, this person that's probably not even the U.S. going, yeah, this tyrant <laughs> left my food at the wrong address. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That was great. That was way better than I could have expected. Oh, Lord. That was really good. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons, or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. You ever watch, um, you you ever watch, um, The Late Show, Jimmy Fallon, and he does? Not really. Okay, so he does these, you'll get lost for like three hours if you start looking them up. Um, he does these Mad Lib things, but then they act them out with like celebrities. Oh, like a, uh, my What's that show called? I don't know. The one where they act shit out. Saturday Night Live? Nope. Mad TV? Nope. The one that Drew Carey hosted for a while? Oh, it was live then anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so so he's they're sitting at his, his desk, and he has a celebrity, and he asks all those questions. Give me a verb. Give me an adjective. Give me a number. Give me a, a, a funny name, or whatever it is. And they, they list them all, and then they go and change into their um, garb. In their garb. That's a good British slang right there, some garb. And um, then they act it out, and and he does it with like a list celebrities, and it is it's there. That's it's there. I like that. So when you get down that rabbit hole, you gotta let me know because it's really funny. Sure, I'll be there soon. Oh man, crying a little bit. Hold oh, on, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Oh, how cool? Okay, okay. Well, you want to talk about uh old people? Boy, do I ever. Yeah. The answer is no. Yeah. No, I don't ever want to. Well, we're gonna we're gonna talk about them. Um and. You and I, sir, are going to do a things that old people do draft. So we have our top five things that old people do. And we're going to go one against one. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, I don't know whose turn it is. All right, so you're saying you don't know whose turn it is first? Yeah, but I kind of want you to go so I know what route I'm taking. All right, things that old people do draft. Are you ready? 2024. Let's do it. All right. Number one pick. I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, having assorted hard candy in their pocket or purse. I have that one. Feel solid with that. As solid as the candy. 
as solid as the candy. Some Werther's. When I wrote that down, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> it's a, that's the only one it is, or like a it's it's a like a like a peppermint. Yeah. With my number one pick, I'm gonna go with send money to Nigerian princes. <laughs> that's that's really good. Um, that's really good. But number two, I'm I'm gonna preface it as this, but it I think it falls under another category too. Um, so with my number two pick, I'm gonna go with um just just resting my eyes um and Going. or naps naps or the other thing i kind of mold into it as the same being like oh this movie just came on or this show just came on that we're all sitting down to watch and then within two minutes their eyes are closed and you go hey grandma grandpa dad mom are you awake oh yeah, yeah i'm just, just resting, resting my eyes okay yeah yeah okay i feel like we're taking two very different approaches to this go ahead and i'm okay with it uh, with my with my second round pick, I'm gonna go with um, speak loudly when talking to someone that speaks a different language. <laughs> it's so true, it's so true. I know, and it's ah, uh, so just oh uh, Lord, yeah, we're definitely going different routes because with yeah, I, you know, and I think I'm just gonna continue down this path. My third pick is um, I, I'm gonna go with just more of the classics because I think it's more top five worthy, which is eating. Eating early, or, and just it's four thirty. It's time for dinner. Time for dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that one. It's getting hard now. That I only have two left, though. Now it's getting tough. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Right. Keep going, man. No filter. With my third round pick, I'm gonna go with destroy the economy and blame it on the younger generation. Jesus Christ, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. You were, you were getting about hold back. <laughs> well, <laughs> um. <laughs> Well, I'm like I said, I'm sticking to my traditional old person thing. Well, my fourth pick is gonna be uh, being cold. Being cold, okay. <laughs> being I cold. I didn't even have that one. Yeah, it's always cold. It's 85 degrees out. Can you get my jumper for me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Another one I saw. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go with this one, but uh, it was like wearing wearing jackets when it's not cold out at all. <laughs> being cold. Yeah, like it could always be 80, cold. and they're like. I need my jacket. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. All right. With my fourth round pick, I'm gonna go with watch TV with the volume on 100. <laughs> it's so true. Oh Lord. Uh, you know we're gonna be there one day. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to convince myself otherwise. Well, my fifth overall pick, which I'm sure has happened to you, me, and everyone listening, um, is. <laughs> uh, writing a check for your birthday for fourteen dollars and thirty seven cents, <laughs> or some random stupid amount, but that you the fact that you get a check one and two, it's never like here's twenty dollars. Yep, <laughs> it's here's fourteen like, here's thirty four. Like, yeah, right. Is that when you're right. born, Grandma? What the hell's going on with this? <laughs> no, that's uh, I wanted to round up to the near zero on my checking account, so I I, I rounded it with your birthday check. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's my fifth pick is writing checks, um, birthday, bots, mitzvahs, mitzvahs, you know, I'm trying to say, I got you. Got um, Christmas, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever have you <laughs> yeah. with my fifth overall pick, I'm going to go with having enlarged text on their phones. <laughs> it's at like 240% increase. The fuck, the huge bubbles. Like you could read that shit like, from like the parking lot. Like the screen is just one letter. Yeah. <laughs> They got to scroll to get a word. Oh, man. Uh, I, I really hope that we relive this back in another 30 years when we're in our 60s and we go, wow, we do all those things. <laughs> well, a couple of them I didn't say because either I do it now or people I know do it now. Well, give me your the rest of your, well, give me like your your favorites that you have remaining and I'll give you my yeah, favorite. All of them. No. Do you want me? I have a shorter list. Do you want me to go? First yeah, or? Hit, hit yours first. Okay. Um. So one that I didn't choose was um having your dick out at the gym because old dudes just don't care. <laughs> they're just they're just out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, playing bingo to go into the bingo hall or I had whatever it is. Yep. Yeah. And that was one that I was saying. You know, I do now. Yeah. Um, Excuse me. Licking their fingers before turning a page. On something, I do that. No, oh, dude. Yeah. Um, using maps, like yeah, so like like a refusal to use GPS. Yeah. Okay. 
um, reading a menu with like a flashlight app or like some kind of light so they can read the menu. Okay. And or like like a like a magnifying um, app or something. Magnifying yeah. that has a built in flashlight. Yeah. Okay. Um having bird feeders. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Um I had uh yelling at clouds. I think that's like a mental disorder thing. I don't know if that's an age thing. <laughs> no, no. Oh, these damn clouds. <laughs> that's not a mental thing. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want that um, darn rain today. You're right. Um I had buying toothpaste in bulk. Okay. Um, and then I had, uh, for the, leaving for the dentures, right? Uh, no, just, I need 47 of these. Yeah. For all three <laughs> teeth. And my last one I had was, uh, leaving voicemails. Okay. So good transition into mine. I had leave voicemails, but I had leave voicemails that include their name and number. Hey, this is grandma at right. one, As seven, nine, nine, don't two, have four. phones that can tell us who they are, what their number is, when they call. Just the leaving voicemail thing, because the only person who's leaving your voicemail is somebody who's older and or, right. or a sales call. A company yeah. or a professional. Right, right, right. right. So, <laughs> in addition to that one, I have uh, refused to bank online. That's pretty good. I have that's pretty good puzzles. Oh, that's really, oh, I just thought of one. Watching The Wheel and Jeopardy every night at 7 and 7.30. So, I had, I was going to put on watch game shows, but we, as discussed last episode, I'm, I'm a pretty avid family feud guy along with anything else that's really on. So no, I don't know if that's that solely... very on par. Yeah. Seven o'clock was wheel and seven 30 was jeopardy and eight o'clock was bedtime. Exactly. Yeah. Nah, seven 42. <laughs> well, for them, not <laughs> us. Just resting my yeah. eyes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so I also had used landline phones. I, you know, to be honest, I don't think even like my grandma doesn't have one. She uses cell phone I have landlines are long gone maybe you got a hip grandma mm. she, she has a replacement one <laughs> that counts i have hoard oh yeah that's a good one i have collect things like stamps and coins listen i have a coin collection yeah you probably also have puzzles too which i left off the list we've already talked about this i know I love, that's i love puzzles i know i know i know they're uh, great i have a unwillingness to others perspectives oh yeah yeah uh huh. Uh huh. I have eat brand cereal. <laughs> now, listen. To be fair, I love me some Weetabix. You ever had Weetabix? Never even heard of it. So it, it comes in like a bar form. I think it's British or from England or it's somewhere in Europe. I don't know. But it comes in like a a bar, and you like you pour maybe two of them into your bowl. Okay. You add your milk, and it slowly softens it and dissolves it, and you got your Weetabix for the day. It's really good. So I'm yeah. weird. Like, nope. like, do you do you like like I also like grape nuts. No, and that that was <laughs> another one I was gonna add. But I, shit, <laughs> I've already but I'm already starting to involve. All right, Grandpa, I'm going on to the next one. Okay, shit. All right, good. The next one is yeah. listen to AM radio. Just radio. <laughs> You'd have to say AM. Just fair. You know, with with all the platforms out there now. That you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have reminisce on the good old days. No, because we do that. Yeah. yeah. I have have exact change, so that kind of coincides with your, your check writing. I could hate. Yeah. yeah. Um, obsess about weather. Okay, so yelling at clouds, right? No, now, this was to- this this was back to like like when I was a kid, my dad used to talk to my grandfather like every Saturday or Sunday morning and it every conversation was like, Well, how's the weather down there? And you know, unsolicited would be like, Well, up here it's this and this and it's Care. That's I wonder how you talk going though. Yeah, yeah, but it was it was surely to be included in every conversation. Well, here's the thing: is I'm also a big like weather person, so I think I'm I've already like slowly started to transition. Like, I think you're more concerned about I can your feel weather the cataract than, like, coming. Like, if you were to talk to homeboy in Iceland, you wouldn't be like, "So, like, how's your weather up there?" Is it? No, but as far as me and like my daily yeah. life, that's, that's one of the first things I do. In I the think morning that's is part of being weather. an adult. I think obsessing about it is where you start to get to the old itis. How's the weather up there? <laughs> okay. All right. I that's I had a friend in fair. Arizona, so I could know how the weather is doing down there. All right. I got a couple more. Uh, okay. Watch Murder, She Wrote reruns. So that's a Family Guy reference, right? <laughs> uh, no, nah, that was just... I was no, like, that's, that's definitely... Um, no, maybe be. Ted? It's Ted. Same. It's Ted. Producer. It's Ted. I don't know. Definitely Ted. But, but still hilarious. I have use a handkerchief. Okay. 
and I have wear huge sunglasses like the shit that's like <laughs> yeah um I had a couple more but they weren't worthy enough um like I had like like drive a tan colored car um I also had driving poorly and you know all the things that got us to this I had um whole thing uh cutting your lawn into patterns but I think just that's not really a old person thing I think yeah. that's like an aesthetic like I prefer this you could do um, like cutting your finger trying to turn a page because they're so like yeah wearing your whitey tighties around having a chair like that's my chair yeah like the excitement revolving around buying a recliner yeah. kind of thing so for the I, when you showed me the um the metrics for the 3.4 percent that were 65 and up do you do all these things say that again for the metrics that showed that we had like 3% people that were the age 65 or higher. Oh, you're asking them if they do these it, things. Do you do all these things or have you done all these things? Yeah. If you guys can figure out how to work a webcam and a microphone or even turn your computer on, then come on and talk right. about it. Just comment how much you sent to the Nigerian prince and uh, we will not reimburse you. Correct. But <laughs> I may become a Nigerian prince. <laughs> yeah. With that in mind. It's, it's sad though. Like, because a lot of them fall for that. I had a, um, called him grandpa, step grandfather, who got a call from someone who figured out his granddaughter's names and said, Hey, it's blank. I'm in jail. I need money. I need this, 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 and sent her several thousand dollars. And lo and behold, it was scam. Well, that's shit. better than most of them because I think. Typically, I know at least like five, 10 years ago, it was just random emails that were like, hey, I'm so-and-so. I know you haven't heard about me. Yeah. So the fact that he went through the trouble to learn their names, that's like leaving the other ones and, in the dust. And, and used a female with like a younger voice right. to do it. But at the same time, the my cousin that they claim to be, your first thought would be, you would never even ever be in a situation right. you're so, in a prison. Um, but at... I, maybe it's, you know, it's just that natural instinct of that's my granddaughter in trouble and I'm going to send them the money and that's that. And it's something sad. to have integrity sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way of saying it. Yeah, you're really wondering good. like, man, you know how easy it would be to get rich, but then you're like, I'm not a shitty human being. Yeah, exactly. I'm not a shitty human being. Exactly. It sucks. I guess that's where the whole nice guys finish last comes from. Well, you know what? As long as you have a good time getting there, that's fine. That's fair. I'll give you that. I've had a good time. Had a wonderful time doing all oh. 10 of these episodes. It's my camera. To ten. the left. <laughs> to the left, to the left. And on that, I figured we could finish it out with some podcast-related thing. Okay. So first, I just had a couple uh, fun facts to make to make us feel a little more proud of our uh, 83 followers we've amassed. Okay. So what I have is that there are somewhere between roughly 3.2 and 4.3 million total podcasts. And the discrepancy Whoa. here is data from a couple different sources, and one of which may not account for empty shows or shows that have feeds that only have, like, spammy 10-second episodes. Right, right. But regardless, 44% of those podcasts have less than three episodes. Only what percent? Forty what? Forty four out of the three point two to four point three million. Oh, only seven hundred and twenty thousand of those podcasts have more than ten episodes. What? And here's where we're gonna feel really special. That last number on top of this number, only one hundred and fifty six thousand of those are releasing episodes weekly. Wow. So I mean, that's still a lot. Thousand out of. But 4.3 million. So right. I broke it down for us. On the higher end of that, we're part of the almost 4% of podcasts that release an episode weekly. Well, you know what? And we're going to keep doing it because... Yes, we are. Yeah. And to that point, more than 80 million people in the U.S. are listening to podcasts on a weekly basis. Yeah. The number one podcast in the world is... Got be Joe Rogan, right? It is Joe Rogan. And he's acquired by Spotify for... Do you know how much? Two... To, uh, 250 million? 200 million. 200 million. So here's here's a funny thing. I've never listened to a full episode of Joe Rogan. I don't know that I've amassed 45 seconds of clips. I have, but that's the only time I see him is during YouTube shorts is 
Joe Rogan pops on. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I love. About I love the clips because he has stuff from this realm all the way to this realm. Like he does a lot of stuff. Um, I think my favorite guest is Joey Diaz. You ever listen to the big Italian dude? Big guy, big dude from from the Sopranos. You ever watch the Sopranos? He's an actor back in the day. He wasn't. What's his face though? Was he? No. What's the main character? Yeah, it wasn't Tony. Okay. No. Yeah. I don't know. No. 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 Any um, other ones? Um, he does a lot of like nature guys and history guys, and I love listening to that. And he is Neil deGrasse on there a lot. That he's great to see. Um, but all I see is shorts. I've never sat down and or driven yeah. or whatever and, okay. and put on a full Joe Rogan podcast. I've just never done it. Never done it. I have really only two podcasts that I listen to, and they're several years older. Um, right. And I've that seen TV. or heard yeah. 90% of them, but I just will either replay them or I'll find those little niche ones that I'm like, oh, I haven't heard this one yet. Um, yeah, I don't yeah. blame you. You can't expand too much because then you get sucked in and then you got to figure out what you're doing with your life at that point, I feel like. Well, Jackson Holiday just fucked up. That's all right. So, on a further note, to be, I'll have to, I'll have to show you these stats because I think we're kind of there. Is to be in the top fifty percent of podcasts, you need over thirty-two listens per episode within the first seven days. I think we're there. No, nah, no, nah, not within the first seven. I'll have to show you our Apple Podcasts. Analytics. Oh, okay, because I've only seen because the yeah. YouTube ones is the ones I'm looking at. Um, because I can't see the Apple ones, but the YouTube yeah. ones, although it's 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 slowly getting better. But um, end of we're the day, that. we're getting well, end of the day. This time next year, we're gonna be doing the same thing. Whether we're at we're at eighty, would you say four. three YouTube yeah, we get four? More, if we get three hundred more, three thousand more. If we're at eighty five this time next year, guess what? We're still gonna be doing it. If we're at fifteen this time next year, do I? Well, I was trying to make it more realistic, but I'm yes, saying, you know what I mean. I want you know what I know mean. that we're doing this for us. Yeah, and we're here to also invite people on. I don't yeah. hear or see a lot of people putting that out to the general public saying, "Hey, if you want to get in touch with us, we'll we'll make it happen." Because uh, we will. I mean, if you if you have a hot topic, you have just general thoughts and ideas. I mean, we're gonna anything worthy entertain them, and you have yeah, a couple gonna... hours free on a Wednesday night. And I guarantee you probably haven't made it this far, but if you have, shoot us an email. Um, there should be links in the description and bios to anything that you need. You can to drop an email, up. DMs on. You can Facebook, drop a comment, Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say holla at me. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Well, so, shit. Uh, well, on that, I have. Uh, I yeah. Got one last couple thing. If anybody has made it this far, just things that we've noticed or things that could help us adapt or cater so i had i guess questions for you and then maybe people could comment their thoughts if that makes okay. sense yeah yeah i guess this question isn't really a, a help us or hurt us thing but what are your thoughts on celebrity podcasts do you think it's beneficial because it's elevating podcasts as a medium or do you think it's overshadowing people like us i just think it's more of a um extra for them like let me just talk into this mic the fact that i have my name um is gonna one bring viewers to bring me more money and three i really don't have to do much to make that extra income it's kind of more of an income thing than a um okay so i guess are you for it or against it or do you think it's a good thing or a because i mean ultimately they don't need any additional income i mean they make more in a year than against it i'm not against anyone just coming out but if it's someone coming out to solely do it as a means of additional income, income yeah. i think is a little more eh. okay but at the same time i don't really listen to those yeah. podcasts like i don't at all so right. i mean if they come across on a short maybe i might i might come across them but i'm i'm not seeking them out or going oh this celebrity's podcast is out and i'm gonna go listen to it because it's that celebrity I don't right now no. okay what are your favorite and least favorite things about hosting a podcast? Mm. I think favorite we've already touched on is it's just our next, now that we are living so close to each other, it's it's that next. Our medium of keeping in touch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, you know. Hanging out and drink a beer is bullshit. And, of know. 25 years that's now going to continue in a positive format as opposed to just a random text every now and then. It's 
Um, I think for me, that's definitely the positive. I think that's easy, but the negative, the most negative thing of it, um, trying to figure uh, out which beer to drink. No, negative. I, the only thing I can really kind of sort of think of is, um, I typically record these after a day of work and like, I walk in my door and I'm like, yeah, I just want to kind of like press and, and you know, um, but at the same time, also throughout that same day, I'm going tonight's a podcast night. Like, right. heck yeah. So uh, sort of a negative, like a bittersweet but... kind of like I'm exhausted, but I've also looked forward to it all day kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it's something that I want to do and I'm looking forward to all day and it kind of keeps the engine going during the day. And it's not like we sit down to record and I go, all right, we're recording. Here we go. Yeah. You know, it's, it's. Cause it's a but typical that's... conversation. Just the camera's on. Yeah, and and we have a somewhat maybe thirty percent script for the day. And, yeah, and just you shit know we talk can, about. Yeah, it's stuff we would have talked about when I saw you over the weekend. If you still live over here, that guy. right? Yeah, just yeah. ideas like, oh man, he would like that. Let me jot it down. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing that's pokes out as like a super negative to it. I mean, the trial and errors of you Getting know the started technical part of it, maybe after we plan to every week, but but. That's we'll get there. As you stated from the very beginning, it's this is brand new for both of us. Yeah, well, I mean, we're starting a, a whole social platform from legit scratch without any kind of, you know, there's a lot of people that will, will start a podcast after they've already right. had like been, been the thousands, maybe even millions of followers. Right, right, or right, right. Audio Where engineers this is, or videographers two, or, yeah. Two dudes who have never even stepped into the spotlight of social media. Um, right. Putting it out there, yeah. Uh, well, I think that is all I had, unless you want to answer one last trivia question for me. Oh, I definitely, anytime it's trivia, I'm I'm down. Okay. It's more of like a finish this sentence. Okay. Thanks everybody for tuning in to our 10th episode and fuck esports nerds. It's all bitches. See you guys. Get a life. Peace. <laughs>